here with Jenna and Tucker from Say That You Can Dance Season 10. Jenna, what was the pressure like? Because I feel like you had these sisters who auditioned for the show before <laughs> where they kind of like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. <laughs> no, um, it was just more of guidelines about what to do and what to expect. So I'm really glad that I had them going into it because I wouldn't have known what to have done. And I'm just grateful I made it as far as I did and they were able to support me along the way. Tucker, uh, one of the best moments I think of the whole season was that segment with your dad. So what is the relationship like with him and uh, does he miss you now that you're on tour? Uh, he does. He misses me a lot. Our relationship is awesome. I mean, we do, we do a lot of stuff together and he's just one of my big friends. Um, Jenna, I'm dying to see that Mark routine. You know, I've already like mentioned it three times and we haven't really started yet. Are we going to see it? Is somebody going to step in for Mark or is it not on the tour? I don't know what I'm allowed to say. <laughs> well, it's already, the tour's already happened, right? Oh, yeah. yes. Um, it is on tour. And my lovely partner. Oh, it's you? Oh. <laughs> oh, man, forget the interview. Let's just go right now. Um, I, I wanted to get your opinion on, like, how can people win so you think you can dance? I know you guys didn't, but I have this theory about, like, hip-hop dancers. Hip-hop dancers have an advantage. Like, I feel like for So You Think You Can Dance season 20, I'm going to start training now, and I'm going to master hip-hop. There you go. Is that the answer? Um, I don't necessarily think it's just hip-hop, but I think America loves to see growth. And someone without training and um, an underdog, an underdog. I, I think they love to see someone pull through and whip out all these different styles. And I think that's exactly what Fiction did this season was he nailed everything he was given. And I think America really fell in love with how hard he worked and what he produced. So, um, Tucker, if you had a nickname like Memento, like kind of like Fiction does, do you feel like that would have improved your odds? Like, how can you bet against a guy <laughs> whose nickname is Fiction? Tucker, do you, yeah. I don't know, yeah, like, truth. Do you, truth. Yeah, there we go, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I have no idea. I really doubt if I had an awesome nickname that would have helped. <laughs> um, it certainly worked for fiction, um, but he, he worked his butt off to get to where he was, so props to him. How, how do you guys feel about these celebrity judges that they bring on? You know, it's kind of like if the kid from like Modern Family is like lecturing me on how to do an interview, I'd be like, shh. What have you done, you know? So like, is that hard or do you just want like dancers giving you sort of like pointers? Um, it is nice to have dance feedback, but again, all the people that they brought on had um, performance training. Mm -hmm. And so they, they're all big stars. And so we had our dancers like Nigel and Mary, but then it was great to have feedback from a performer who knows what it's like to have to go into a certain character mm -hmm. and to yeah. give a storyline. So I really liked it. The same grade? I, I'm the same way. I think just because of their background in acting, which is so much a yes. part of the show and a part of what we do. Um, so their feedback was really vital to progressing in the show. You know, they made a change right at the beginning of the top 10 where they were like eliminating people. They'd like, you know, sort of make you dance and like wait instead of doing it. So what was that like when they flipped the script? I think it was like in week two. Um, I actually liked that format a lot better because I felt like even though you knew you were in the bottom three, you had that whole show to try to prove to them why you deserve to stay. And so I really liked that format because it just pushed me every single time to really give 150% and show them why I deserve to stay. Same for you? Um, yeah, I think given the second chance with your, not only your solo, but your dance as well, you were giving something to the judges to say, this is why I need to stay in the competition. So I thought it was really helpful for the dancers to have that change. And what routine are you looking the most forward to performing tonight? The... Yeah, okay, yeah. well, yeah. No. I'm giving you a look here because I'm expecting an answer. Yes, I will give you an answer. I'm trying to decide. Um, I do love performing, I'm the best, and I actually really love performing, I Can't Make You Love Me. It's the one I did with Neil, but I do it with Aaron, so I really love those two dances. And Tucker? I love the finale, getting to do that with everybody, because it's such a high energy, fun dance, so I'm looking forward to it again. Is it harder to learn dance moves with your feet or with your hair? <laughs> Probably with my hair. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.